need speed! Hi, Steve716 here and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So I thought I'd just give you a bit of an update guys on my uh, Enduro uh, bomber build. So uh, as you can see, I've uh, now got the wheels on and um, today I've just been fiddling around and putting the uh, brake calipers on, the uh, hydraulic brakes were a little bit of a mission and the back wheel was a bit of a mission, but I managed to source some, um, uh, some uh, what do you call them, torque arms. I managed to source some torque arms within the UK. I mean, yeah, I could have made some, but to be honest with you, I just didn't have a time really to mess around and make some good, decent ones. So I mean, for for the sake of what, eight eight pounds or ten dollars, I bought a couple and it saved a lot of happening, and messing around and filing and drilling and whatnot. So anyway, so um, as you can see, I've uh, yeah, you can see the main phase cables in the in the frame here. And uh, so basically all I've got to do now really is install the battery and the controller and um, yeah, join uh, wire it up and uh, that's about it really. So there's not a great deal more to do on this. Be a bit of messing around. I like to make sure everything's right before I actually ride it. Um, you know, the calipers are all in a good position for the brakes and central and not rubbing and none of that rubbish, you know. So, yeah, I like to make, like to make sure everything's nice and tight and ready ready to go, do you know what I mean, 100%. So, um, I'll just flip the camera around and I'll show, show you a bit more of a close-up of uh, what I've actually been doing. So, here we go, guys. It's, uh, it's looking pretty sweet. I mean, the only thing I uh, need now is the chain. So, um that's about it, that's all I need. So I've actually just ordered one of those today, so I should get that tomorrow. So um, as you can see, I've got the torque arms um, on here, which sit on that washer, which protects a phase cable. So uh, I just need to put a, <coughs> a nut and a bolt and a few washers through there. But uh, like I said, I've got the caliper on, which is uh, nice and central and uh, just need to tighten these up and that's about it um, <clears throat> yes yeah, so I've got the, uh, the hydraulic brake cable running through here through the frame so it'll, it'll all be hidden within the frame when it comes out the top here and obviously up to the lever there so they, they've all been bled and they're um, working as they should um, as you see the main phase cables here uh, yeah, so the battery's going to take up the, the majority of this space in here and the uh, 100 amp Sabaton's going to sit up here and it's going to be quite a tight fit. It is a tight fit in these Enduro frames. but not quite so um, f uh, wide as the uh, solid steel bomber frames. So we'll have to see how we get on with that. But um, yeah, but it's um, it's uh, looking pretty pretty sweet, guys. It really is. I'm really, really chuffed with it. I'm not 100% sure on the, uh, the saddle. The seat is the only bit of white I've got on the bike. I'm not really sure why I've did why I done that, to be honest with you. I don't know why I just didn't go for a, a, a plain black one, really. So I wanted to try and keep this one sort of like blacked out, where the other one I've done had a lot of red, sort of more red and black. I mean, yeah, that's the only other white on there, so maybe that's probably why I've done the white saddle as well, because I've got a bit of white on the handlebars. But they're 720 in width, those ones. Yeah, the tyres are all pumped up. And, um, yeah, like you say, you can just see if I just move a bike. Hang on. So this is the other side, so I've still got a protection film on the frame. Uh, I should probably leave that on there for the time being. So, uh, yeah, got the chain tensioner on. Got the sprocket on and front sprocket. I think that's a 42 I put on there in the end. So, yeah, guys, just waiting on the chain, um, which I don't really need, to be honest with you, but I, like, I want, need to have a chain on it when I take it out for a test ride. So I had to cut some, uh, cut some off seat post as well. And I cut about three and a half inches off that is ridiculous it's way too long um yeah so it's just threading the cables through so you've got the control the main display here and these are your cut offs so yeah well, there you go 
So it's going to be a beast, three and a half T, it's 5,000 watt on this one. And uh, yeah, it's going to be nice guys, can't wait, really can't wait to get out on this. So there you go guys, this is a little short brief video to keep uh, everyone up to speed of where I'm at. So a um, bit of luck, uh, the next video, I will do a video of me actually putting the battery and the controller in. So I think it's going to be a little bit of a mission to make that fit in there. But um, I'll get it done. And as soon as I get it done, we can get it up the road and take it for a ride. And uh, it's going to be pretty quick, this one. I can just, I don't know, I just feel it. It's going to be quick. So uh, well, looking forward to it. Anyway, really appreciate your support, guys. And uh, until the next time, keep safe. And uh, yeah, till next time. See you later.